Occasionally, we may fly a drone for photography or video work. Clark Energy have a civil aviation authority, licensed operator. All personnel will be warned of the operation two weeks in advance. Prior to any flight, all relevant personnel will be briefed and required to sign on to the risk assessment. If there is any imminent danger or perceived threat to a life, then stop work and report the incident immediately to the site manager. If you have any complaints, comments, or suggestions regarding health, safety or welfare, please inform the site manager and your own supervisor. All operatives must have a valid CSCS competency card, appropriate to their position and level of competence. When working on site, you must have a method statement. It must be signed by the people doing the work to confirm that they have read and understood its contents. It must be site-specific and up-to-date. You must also have a risk assessment. It must be signed by the people doing the work to confirm that they have read and understood its contents. It must be site-specific and up-to-date. Please note, if you are using chemicals, you must have the material hazard data sheet and COSH assessments and use accordingly. When working at height, the work at height risk minimization form must be completed. This document is designed to assist subcontractors in identifying suitable work at height equipment for the task, following the work at height regulations 2005 hierarchy of control, starting with fixed scaffolding down to stepladders as a last resort. All subcontractors are required to adopt this principle when assessing work at height equipment. In the form, all options should be considered in order, and you must give a valid reason why the option is not practical, and why it is reasonable to choose a less safe option. This process also forms part of the Clark Energy Subcontractor Project specific RAMS evaluation form, which must be completed for all RAMS. Only use mobile devices when in a position of safety or in an identified area designated safe. Designated areas will be clearly signed. In the event of an emergency, anyone needing to contact the emergency services must still ensure they are in a safe position. Do not use any mobile device whilst undertaking any task where use of the device might interfere with the level of concentration required to undertake the task safely. This includes using a device to record information relating to the work activity. Unrestricted mobile device use is only permitted when in site offices, or cabins, or welfare facilities. Site management reserve the right to prohibit all mobile device use on site, except for use in site offices, or welfare, and in the event of an emergency. Do not use any mobile device whilst walking on a construction site. Do not use mobile phones whilst on the stairs. Do not use a mobile device when working at height. Do not use a mobile device on or near plant roots. Do not use a mobile device within any exclusion zones of any item of plant or vehicle, including loading or unloading activities. Anyone on site driving a vehicle or operating plant, machines, or equipment is prohibited from using a mobile device whilst the vehicle, plant, or equipment is in use. This includes the use of hands free devices. Do not use a mobile device when near hazardous, such as flammable areas, or during refueling operations. Please note, failure to comply with this policy will be regarded as a serious breach of health and safety procedures. Anyone found in breach of this policy may be excluded from site, and employees may be liable to disciplinary action. Any person who is excluded may be refused access to other Clark Energy sites in the future.